What's going on guys? Brandon here. And uh not a subscriptions video, not a not a comic talk video, but kind of a haul video here. Um once again I'm in a different location here. I'm eventually I'm gonna have a constant area where I do this. Maybe I'll even appear in a video, I don't know. Um for everybody commenting on my videos and I'm not commenting back, I'm sorry. I've just uh I've been busy, been sick, so once that's on a show, I hope to get back to everybody. But, um, a little backstory of this quote-unquote haul. Uh, at a local comic shop, and an older couple walks in with some books. Um, kind of look a little, little, you know, a little brown, a little beat up. But, you know, books nonetheless. Has, uh, just has a bunch of, like, two stacks sitting on, like, a, a the top of a box. And then has, like, a box itself full of, full of comics. Person working goes through them and, you know, says, just just kind of, you know, flips through them and says, there's no, I don't see any real key issues here, so I can give you a dime a book. Offers the couple $30. Well, they, uh, they turn it down and start packing up. I walk over to the counter and say, what, what were you looking to get for these? At this point, the person that working looks at me and says, that's how you get kicked out of a store. And, well... I mean, it kind of aggravated me a little bit because if, you know, if this person was going to do business, why can't I do business? So the guy said, well, if I'd like to get $40, which just astounded me why this guy would just go $10 higher and he wouldn't even ask, uh, ask, ask, you know, try to barter. So then the person working the store says, well, I can give you $40. So I said, I, I said, well, you're killing me. And the guy said, will you give me 50? And I just kept my mouth shut because, you know. Comic shop, whatever, don't want to, you know, don't want to upset anybody. And then, uh, you know, a person buys the books, and once that couple leaves, I say, I say, so, uh, do I get first run at those? And says, yes, you do, uh, two, two bucks a book. Because it, it's going to go in the quote-unquote convention stock that they have there. Uh, I started flipping through, found some books here, and this is what I got. Uh, mind you, two dollars a book here, every book I bought here was two dollars, and, uh, I think I got my money's worth. You'll see what I'm talking about. Miss Marvel number 19. It's the first book. Marvel premiere number 11 with Doctor Strange. Chamber of Chills 19. Chamber of Chills 20, which is probably the most beat up out of all of them. It has, a, has a, some problems up here in the corner. Chamber of Chills 22. Great covers on these Chamber of Chills books. Chamber of Chills 23. Chamber of Chills 25. Then we have Crypt of Shadows 13. Crypt of Shadows 14. We have What If 23. This is from the original 70s uh, What If series. Uh, excuse me. What If number 17. Werewolf by Night number 10. This has a crease that runs kind of right there, right down that way. Which, I mean, it's fine. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, number 12. Godzilla, number 13. Machine Man, number 18. Machine Man, number 3. Marvel 2-in-1, number 76. Marvel 2 and 1 number 73. Marvel 2 and 1 number 71. Now there's one more book after this. And I know some of you guys are probably saying, oh well I wouldn't pay two dollars for some of those books. Well, I kinda I kinda paid two dollars for some of those to get this next book and feel okay about it. Although, you know, I was was a little upset at the time about this you know, this comic owner. I don't know if you want to say being greedy or whatever, but just the attitude they had towards me would just bothered me. But I think getting this book, Iron Fist number 14, for $2, I think that's a steal. I mean, I think you got a pretty good deal on that. And uh, this isn't the $0.35 cent price variant, this is the $0.30 cent variant. But, or it's not the variant, it's the $0.30, cent, you know, copy. But regardless, it is the first appearance of Sabretooth, and this book is phenomenal. So, you know, that being said, I think I made out pretty well. Not to mention, I spent 
about sixty dollars on supplies while I was there with with uh, boards and bags. So you know, I don't know. I kind of, I mean, I think I made out pretty well. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of this book because I mean I'm super pumped on it. And uh, as always, remember, have a great day.